Okay, hello, my name is Shannon Kringen. You're watching Goddess Kring, and I was going to do a big video monologue, but I freaked out, and now I don't have the energy to do a big video monologue. I tried to sell some of my artwork today, and I'm really not a good salesperson. I ended up painting one person's face. I paint shoes, and I paint faces in my own style. I have a tattoo here on my arm, which means be yourself no matter what they say. I am nude right now, but I'm not allowed to show you my naked body on the internet because in the USA, in the puritanical United States of America, we are supposed to be ashamed of our naked bodies. So I can't show you my naked body. But I am a nude figure model, a naturist, a nudist, and I tried to sell some of my hand painted shoes today and I painted somebody's face and I miss doing monologues. I used to do a weekly public access TV show in Seattle called Goddess Kring for like 15 years. I'm in the national book called Weird Washington. Um, it's good to be Kring. And um, I, um, they made a, a short documentary film about me called Typecast Dragon. I'm very proud and honored um, to be a part of that. I'm also a very, very talented photographer, but I don't really know how to promote myself in, in the way that I need to to be taken seriously as a photographer. Although I've had some of my work published, I took a picture recently of a Native American Indian named Sadutz, and it ended up getting published on the Real Change, not the newspaper, but the Real Change website, which is in Seattle, Washington, United States of America. It is uh, for homeless people. It helps them earn a living. So that's a really great cause. And I have been really chaotic and up and down with my moods. Despite all of my mental problems, I am almost done with college. I almost have my bachelor's degree. I might go for my MFA, a Master of Fine Arts degree after that. Uh, I'm kind of an introverted extrovert. I have a lot of problems. I'm highly sensitive. I'm really good at some things and, and kind of like an idiot savant. I'm like really talented and yet I have a hard time doing basic normal type things, but I can do more unusual things. I've been a nude figure model for artists for 20 years in Seattle. Um, I have a lot of anger and rage and fear. I tend to project onto other people. I don't trust other people. Uh, I have a therapist. I'm an only child. I'm left-handed Scorpio earth monkey, rapid cycler, have a tendency towards borderline personality disorder. I think about suicide a lot, but I've never attempted it, mostly because I've done past life regression, and I feel like I have committed suicide in a couple past lifetimes, and it doesn't work. Your consciousness continues, and you have to reincarnate. And I also don't really want to hurt the people that care about me, like my mother, my father, my stepfather. I don't have any brothers or sisters, so they wouldn't miss me. But I have a couple friends, and I have a lot of people online. Hi, people that I talk to online. Thank you for being nice to me. Sorry I'm so self-involved. I'm just trying to survive. I'm kind of, I have some narcissistic tendencies. Um... But I'm, I'm really, really good at taking photos of myself, so I'm actually, oh, I've got hair in my eye, I'm really proud of my self-portraits. I have thousands and thousands and thousands of self-portraits on my website. I also have really amazing pictures I took of animals and plants and water droplets on leaves. I'm really good with color and composition. If I get my MFA, maybe I could be an art teacher in some way. Um, I have a lot of talent. Again, I've been modeling for 20 years in Seattle, so that proves I have longevity and strength. I feel very defensive, like I have to prove myself all the time. I'm a workaholic. I live alone with my cat. I've given up on my love life forever. I'm 44 years old. Uh, for Christmas this year, I am going to do Vipassana 10-day course of meditation. I'm going to skip the whole Christmas and New Year's thing, which is fine with me. Thankfully, my parents are fine with that. Whatever is good for me, for my mental health, they say, do it. If that makes you feel better, go for it. Do it. They're not traditional anyway. Um, 
I'm really happy that in Seattle marijuana is now legal, although I don't smoke it. A lot of people think I do, but I don't smoke marijuana, but I thought it should be legal for years, as well as gay marriage. Gay marriage is legal, finally. Um, it is in a lot of other countries already, and it's been that way for years. Finally in, in uh, Seattle, Washington, United States of America. More like United States of corruption. United States of banks and military and prison, military industrial complex. But at least we have gay marriage now in Seattle. In one of my classes for um, helping homeless people that I'm taking, we got to talk about what law we would like to have enacted if we could have a law enacted. And I said, I would like the United States military budget to be lowered by 90% and that money could be taken and used to actually help people in, in the USA and other countries, humanitarian aid or whatever, instead of the United States military invading other countries and killing people and then not giving um, soldiers the medical treatment that they need for post-traumatic stress disorder. I recently saw uh, a fellow classmate of mine, her husband committed suicide suicide after coming back from Iraq or Afghanistan, I'm not sure which. He was a nurse, he wasn't even a soldier, and he was so traumatized he ended up killing himself. And she showed us graphic photos of all the dead people in war, all the bodies blown up to bits. And the war is pretty nasty. So I would lower the military budget by 90%, take that money and use it for something good. I would also um, make the U.S. government would regulate and they would abolish for-profit private health insurance companies, which are scam artists who lie, cheat, and steal people out of money. And I would eliminate that. Capitalism has no place in health care. And I would give every United States citizen national health care like they do in most countries. I have a friend in Scotland, a friend in Norway, a friend in Australia. I know somebody who used to, who used to live in Mexico. My dad goes to Costa Rica for dental care because it's such a rip-off in the United States of America. Like 400% more in the USA than it is in Costa Rica. And I, I, I know people that have moved to many different countries and they get health care that's either free or low cost, much better than what the USA has. Health care should have nothing to do with employment. What else would I do? GMO foods would be banned in the United States of America. There's a lot of things I would do to change this country. So I just, this is Shannon Kring and Goddess Kring. This is my miniature monologue. I hope to do more monologues. Once again, I have finally given up on my love life. I have been trying to have my love life work for, I don't know, since I was 15 years old and now I'm 44. So what is that, like 30 years or whatever? So I'm done. I've given up on dating. No more sex life, no more love life, no more men in my life. I, you know, I love men, men are sexy, but... I can't do it anymore. So I've given up on my love life. I will be single forever. I love my cat. When she dies, I'll just get another cat. You know, I had Tux. Now I have Stella. I can always get another cat and another cat and another cat and another cat until the end of my life. And I have plants and animals. And I, as long as I can get a massage every week, I have a good massage therapist, a good psychotherapist, um, my artwork. I live in a dream world, and that's what keeps me alive. This is Goddess Kring, Shannon Nicole Kringen signing off. See you next time. Thanks for listening to me. I'm pretty angry, so if I'm annoying to you, I understand. I'm very angry. I know I'm intelligent. I know I'm talented. I have a lot to offer. I'm also very scared and angry and wounded. That's me. Authentic ejaculation of my soul, molten orange liquid glow, intimacy chasing me, feel like it's erasing me. There's some of my demons right there. <laughs>